Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck Deck, and today we're playing some more Metal e Metal Metal Evil Dynasty. If I can talk, just put my teeth back in. So, unfortunately, you guys missed a clip. I need to make sure that I've turned my cheats off. I have not. Sorry, apologies. You didn't see anything. There we go. Cheats are now off. <laughs> you missed the cutscene, unfortunately. We have our son. Oh, I'm over encumbered now. Crap. <laughs> It's all the um, the rot, I assume. Maybe it's not all the rot. What else have I got on me? Oh, I chopped a load of logs. You caught me. You caught me cheating. It's fine. If I was actually trying to hide it, then yeah. Anyway. Ooh, they look pretty. Right, first thing we're going to do. Oh, yeah, I was introducing you to my son. God damn it. We have a baby. You missed the cutscene. I am sorry, but I didn't expect a cutscene to come for that. I thought there might be a cutscene for conceiving the baby. Wilhelm. Did, did I call him Wilhelm? I'm sure he's called Wilhelm. You get to pick his name out. How is life treating you? Let me take a closer look at you. I don't think we can get much closer if we tried. Um, where can I five? Could you move a little? I have a favour to ask. Could you take this money to Castellian to pay our taxes? Just after you've given birth. Sure thing. I'll do that right away. Thanks, then. Well, there's that quest, then. Ignore the logs. And we have got left 10,500. Cool. I think that might be enough to pay for a horsey. Now, it might not be the best idea getting a horsey. I need to beat these guys to harvest in this crap. Are these ready as well? No, they are not ready. Eh, faster. Faster. Move. Um... That's only 22. Let's go. And they're out of firewood. We've been fine all the way through winter. You know when there's that cold white stuff on the floor called snow? Thought I'd add what I meant there before anybody takes that incorrectly. Um, yeah, they, they were fine. Well, they weren't fine, were they? I did have to chop some logs. And we have got a bit of a log crisis going on at the, going on at the moment. I need to farm like 160 odd logs. So just a few. To finish all the roofs that we've got going. Um, can I take this bronze sickle for a minute? I have already got an iron sickle. So can I put this bronze sickle back for a minute? Yeah. It's a scythe, but same difference. Yeah! I need experience more than you guys. Get away. I will cut you. This isn't ready, unfortunately. The fields are all still ploughed. Um, what seeds are you guys putting down? Seven? Six? No, not that one. Select seeds, Sam. Oh, wheat. Fertiliser. We can do most things this season. What's the top side of carrots? Hmm... They are carrots, aren't they? They are carrots. Poppies. Can we do poppies? We can do poppies. It's spring or autumn. Uh, you'll have to wait for your freaking stuff. Give me 15 poppies. I need to do this quickly so I can get the experience. I'm so over encumbered still. Excuse me, why? See, this is the time where we need to build the fertilizer up because the fields are already fertilized. Once all these fields are ready to be cut, that's when we're going to just get need to be inundated with fertilizer. Don't you guys do poppies? I'm doing poppies. Now that I've learned which order my field actually goes in and they're not going to go around and ruin it all. At least I hope they're not going to go around and ruin it all. No! I was doing poppies. Um, Alright, what's next? Lettuces. Lettuces and beetroots. Is there anything else I can drop off? Because we are just very marginally over-encumbered. Um, ba -bam -ba -bam -ba. It's all the meat that I've got on me. Put the rot away. Put the rye away. Um, lettuce seeds they've already got. Oh, flax, cabbage seeds. It's beetroots that I need. 
just double check. Lettuces, then beetroots, yes? It's cabbages. I keep calling lettuces. It's cabbages, then onions, then beetroots. All right, this one, that one, one of those. Cabbage seeds. Let's go. We're going to have a good yield this time. A dead good yield. So, um, yeah, I don't actually know what we're going to do this episode, other than go and buy a horse and do a bit of farming. Because... Um, it's just a, a massive effort at the minute building everything. Over there, I've got four actual houses being built up. I've got the walls done. That took an entire in-game day to do. Um, but then on top of that, I now need 160 logs just to make all the planks for the roof. And on top of that, we've not got enough firewood. So I need to be doing that as well. This is why we need the next log shed. Uh, excuse, excuse me roots it's my time to shine make sure we're on the right path now you do still get experience from these guys doing the farming obviously it's going to be much quicker if i do it so realistically i could actually just um, set another field up now that we've got these coming in pretty fluently um and then just go and sell off the uh, the extra vegetables and stuff. But we have got two food storages now. Admittedly, they're only tier 1 ones. But if we've got two tier 2 food storages, then we'd, we'd be able to store massive amounts of food. And we need to try and work our way up to being able to... Um... You're doing onions, aren't you? You're doing onions. I'll leave you to do the onions. It'd be nice if we could get the shop, just so I could um, actually sell things myself. So what's the top side of onions? Uh, so, flax, rye, oat. Flax, rye, oat. We can't do rye. So let's do oat. So you've got beetroots. This one should be flax, right? Yes. We're actually planting the entire field in spring. Who'd have thunk it? I didn't realise that's how farming worked, that everything grows at the start of the year. Sarcasm, in case in case you didn't quite catch that one. Here we go. Here we go. So we have got a bit of a run to do if we're going to buy a horse. I'm fairly confident it's less than 10,000. I do need a stable for them. I'm hoping I can just put them some um, animal feed in their bags. Maybe that'll just work. Just, just feed them out of hand. Probably not. So this is where rye would go. This is where oats would go. And then wheat's on the bottom, right? Or the top, I guess. I'll let you do wheat then. And then I can follow along here with oats. Oh, we're going to get some farming XP this year, aren't we? Holy Jesus. I wonder if anybody else has had any children yet. They were all pregnant the season after. My wife got pregnant, so I'm going to assume that they aren't going to have given birth just yet. Probably next season, but I, I do need to get these houses built up. So off camera is going to be a massive amount more farming as well. I've only got one more iron axe. <clears throat> we have got a um, bronze axe as well that's been stored up. Right, these are all going to complain they've got nothing to do now. So we've basically planted everything that we can do. It'd be nice if we've got the orchard off the ground a little bit more. Um, have I got anything else to throw in here? Feathers, new. Drop all the meat off in just the closest house to the food storage. Which, actually, I can still use my house because it's right next door to the food storage. Haha! <laughs> it's almost like I planned it. Um, I do want to get a normal storage next to my house, but because it's quite a hilly area, it keeps putting it on stilts. I don't want a storage on stilts. We've seen what they're like. Do I get a bigger chest here? No, they're still only 50 grams. Kilograms, even. 50 kilograms, not 50 grams. 50 grams would be pretty darn stupid. Give me these logs. I weigh too much. The game's calling me fat now as well. It's just rude. Yeah, all four of those are finished, but we just need to get the roofs on. I did, however, get enough experience to upgrade walls. So we need a ridiculous amount of limestone. We're not doing it on any of the normal houses. They can all get knotted. 
we're going to be doing it on all the newer houses, which actually I can do it on the herbalists or stuff like that. Why would we upgrade the buildings when, well, I guess you've got to get them to the full stage and then it'll be limestone. Um, give me the planks. Excuse me, nearly just coughed straight into the microphone. That's never good, is it? This um, this won't even put a dent in the roofs. Well, we're not trying to put dents in, in the roofs. We're trying to put tiles up there, but... 160 logs I worked it out as we need so many. I Please give me the woodshed too. I might actually spend a bit of this episode upgrading the walls with limestone on, you know, like my house. Mine's the most important. We have a child now, so screw you guys. It's my town anyway. So there's one roof tile done. <clears throat> Lots more to go. Ooh. Now we're in the next season, I can go mining again. So I may go mining. Get loads of copper ore again. I've been leaving the tin for now. There's no point, I don't think, until we can make the bronze stuff. I did get that one right for once. Once I've got the bronze stuff, then we can start making the proper tools. This hammer is going to break. I don't have another one either. Building, repair, destroy, downgrade. Removes. Yeah, no. Build him. Oh, I missed a... We need a single log there. Hmm. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter which houses we get up and running first. I mean, I'm not going to be able to get it up and running anyway. This is going to take 20 hits and probably break my hammer, isn't it? I'm going to have to go back down to stone hammers like a muggle. Yeah, that's right. I said muggle. And what? <clears throat> We're only going to get one notch of the freaking upgrade and that's not going to help much. There we go. Can't believe I need one more log. Freaking noob. Hammer's going to break before we get these planks in. Oh, I got one touch left on it. Right, I guess we go make or take ourselves a stone hammer from the storage. How much limestone was it to upgrade one wall? I feel like I'm lying down in my chair. <clears throat> I look like I'm lying down in my chair. I can upgrade the walls before we've even got in there. Cool. Um, a lot is the answer to that one. A lot. I'm now thinking these new houses are going to be too big for these spots here. We're going to have to redesign the village a little bit. <clears throat> Maybe one big house will go here. We've got... Hopefully there's enough room for me to destroy this little house. Well, that's not the little house. These two little houses and get two big houses in here. The village is going to look even grander. If we're getting all big houses, which we are, that's going to be one of the win conditions. Oh, I could even upgrade this. <clears throat> Can I steal one log, please? You've only got 29 as is. Um, and then I can carry, like, just under 30. Yeah, no. Just under 30. There we go. <clears throat> I'll sort you some firewood out in a minute. God damn it, guys. Freaking pain in the backside. All right. Where was this building first? I've not repaired a single building through this playthrough so far. I think it's because we started with the stone buildings. Where did I miss? There. I see it. I forgot to take a hammer. I hear everything. We should have some stone hammers being made up. Now that we've got two people working in the workshop... They're making so many more items. Well, we did actually turn the amount of hammers they made down, didn't we? Because they keep running out of freaking skinning knives. I don't know what they're doing with them. I think they're stealing them, honestly. Woe well betide you if I find out that you're. Stone hammer. Really? You've got five. What's. What the? Um, they seem to have gone a bit far the other way now. They're making way too many. What's with all the wooden plates and shovels and stuff? 
the builder's hut's gone mad. It's gone mad, I tell you. So you've not got any stone hammers for me. The wooden hammers, anyway, aren't they? So we need, like, what? Give me two logs and 20 sticks. Eh, quickly, quickly. Give me that. Go like that. Hoop, hoop, hoop. We need to have another look at the freaking workshop. They're just going nuts. Why have I still got loads of other things on me? Drop the feathers off. Drop the iron arrows off because we're never going to use them. At least no time soon. <clears throat> Keeping the potions on me. We don't need all these simple torches. We don't need all these sticks. We need the stone arrows. Wooden hammers. Keep the shovel. Um, excuse me, freaking hiccups. Workshop. Right, you guys need to calm down on these a little bit. <clears throat> and by a little bit, I mean a lot. Actually, if you're making 10 of them, just do 0.3. These can stay at 0.5 or near to. <clears throat> Buckets, 0.5 will be fine. Torches, 0.45. And the smithy. Eventually, there will be one less person working in here. So you're making one of these a day. Crap. Turn that down to, like, half a one. Half a one. Half one doesn't seem quite enough. Let's go 0.76. Again, I wish we could get all these numbers to be right. Stone axes. Seems you need to calm down a little bit as well. Stone hose. Absolutely need to calm down a little bit. We're not chopping that much wood. Stone knives. Apparently I went a little too ham doing that. Let's just go to two. Wooden spears, wooden hose, stone arrows. I could get them making some stone arrows for me. For me, for me. Am I bothered about you guys making tin? You know what? If you can make tin, go for it. In fact, no, that's XP for me. That's to you guys. I need to go mining myself anyway. Copper hammers. That's what I'd like you to be making. Right. We've had a play around with those. Let's go and see what we can do in the sense of upgrading. <clears throat> I've still not made them any firewood. They'll be fine. The big boys and girls. They can just go out into the lovely sunshine. I sound like my parents now. I refuse. Keep away from the sunshine. And how nice is this going to look when um, when we've got limestone on it? Ooh, baby. Yes, please. Now this is going to take a lot of doing. Now we need to up the ante with the limestone. Now I need the excavation shed too. I'm just never happy, am I? Tink. Tink. Oh, yes. I love it. Did she just lag out through her wall? I saw that. Um, We should be able to carry a little bit more limestone. Let me just chop them some wood so I can get rid of that annoying notification up in the top corner. You mean that one that you've not seen at all? Yeah, it's up there, look, top left. Um, you have some logs. Just give me ten. There we go. <clears throat> this will give them 40 firewood for a bit. It should quell the complaints. So, not only do I need 160 logs, I need, let's say, 180 logs, just so I can turn 20 of those into firewood for these bunch of flipping moochers. No, it, it literally is all coming down at the minute to the fact that our um, log shed isn't... It's it's just not cutting it. It's not enough. Tier 2, 1 will help out. But then again, we need another excavator. I have got somebody that's currently on the well. Admittedly, they are currently pregnant as well. So, maybe... I won't be moving people out of the houses like I thought. Maybe... There you go. Shut up. We'll have to go and... Um, Get some new people to move into the new houses. That seems a bit crappy, though. These guys have been here for ages. Right, I can carry, like, 33 weight. 
32. My bad. Maths, apparently not my strong suit, even though I always say that I enjoy it. Limestone, 32. This will get a few more walls done. And this is why I want a storage up that way. God damn it. So we've probably got to wait like two seasons for most of this to grow. And then I can come and steal all of their XP. I mean, it's not their XP anyway, it's my XP, but... And repair. Nope. Upgrade. You can do this from inside. Let's go inside. A little bit quicker through here. Actually, I've just thought of a genius idea that I could do. I could put the limestone into the food storage and then get it out of this food storage next to me. I are genius. My dude is so out of breath. With having unlimited stamina turned on, I've kind of got used to not hearing him panting in my ear all the time now. <clears throat> it does upset me greatly. Words difficult again. Teeth falling out. Let's just do a few batches of 32. <clears throat> Well, actually, I might as well use all the limestone we've got at this point, which is 163. 332. Let's throw it next door. The only problem is the weight in here is a lot less. But then again, it's not that much of a problem, is it? Because we built that second food storage. Just got hit in the face with the door. Do, do, do. We can get a few houses done with what I've got here. But now, we're like halfway through the day already. I've done nothing. We we're meant to be going to buy a horse. Although, if I can't feed my horse, that seems like a stupid idea. Because if I waste 10 grand buying it and then it dies, I, I won't be a happy bunny. Maybe we should hold off on buying a horse and just save the cash for now. down in there. Now if I go up to the other food storage and this isn't actually in there, I'll be a little bit upset. Find a stone, 32 and then we can just do the last lot in one game. And then he can get his stamina back and shut up. And limestone. Hey, find your teeth. Thanks, Reese. Appreciate it. You'll have to, you'll have to join Discord to see what I'm on about. You know, that thing that I keep going on about in the description below. Link, go and have a look. <clears throat> well, you wouldn't actually be able to see this one because we're in the epic stream room because I started recording a new series. Just, does that kind of ruin the fact that it means one of the two series that I've currently got going has ended? And if you're watching one of them, then it means it's not this one. Yeah. You don't know how far in front I am with that series, so you don't know when it's going to end, like... But still, it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. It's RimWorld, and it's me playing RimWorld. Yes, it works. Just give me 40. I don't profess to be the brilliantest of players at RimWorld. I just enjoy the game. Ah, you're stood in here with a child. Do you mind if I hammer the walls a little bit? It's just one of them games. I'm sure you've all got one. That you really enjoy playing, you're just not that good at it. I'm good at the setting up a base part of it. I'm not good at the defending the base part of it. Is the only problem. I guess there's worse problems to have. This stone ham hammer is actually rather resilient. Like I said, we're going to take more limestone axe. We're going to get all of... Well... <laughs> All of these is a bit excessive. I doubt that's going to happen. We're going to upgrade as much of these as we can. Get out of my way, door. I can't talk again. Freaking teeth. <clears throat> can we reach this one? Boom. So our house is completely upgraded now. I need to cough. There we go. That's better. Throat was dying a little bit. Alright, we're not going to get a horse today. Screw that idea. We're just going to build all of this up. Um, so, other than a massive amount of logs, I need to go and get more copper. 
I need to smelt that into bars, so I'll probably do the same trick that I've been doing off camera. I'll run to the two mines that I've been frequenting and um, get as much copper as we can. It's better during the day because you can actually see you don't really need a torch lit. During the night, it's a bit of a nightmare. And again, when I'm off camera, I'd actually just turn the brightness up. I don't think you'd want to see my game just to show you what it would look like. Brightness, I have to about 150. Alright, then it's going to be stupid. Which is top. Well, actually, it doesn't look that bad. It just looks a bit washed out, but still. Graphics. You come all the way back down here. There we go. C to accept changes. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad, but like I say, when you're in the mine, it's all right. Well, actually, I've got torches on me now. The only time I've done it so far is because the torch that I had on me broke. Now that I've realized just how many that the uh, crazy person in the workshop's been making, having at least two of them on me at all times is like just an easy thing to do. So I've not had to turn the brightness up, but then again, you can barely see the other cave across the tunnel when you've um, when it's proper dark. All right, just um, wondering why there's a thing on the side of the house there. I never think to manage the houses by doing this. Why would you assign a tenant into this house like this? I never realised either. It told you there how much food and stuff they use per house. That's dead nice. We're about to run out of limestone and I've literally done two buildings. <clears throat> oh no, we're going to lose the buff. Strafe. Strafe. Faster. Go faster. Yeah. 160 odd limestone is barely enough for two buildings. Oh boy. I've not seen limestone in the actual mines yet. There goes one hammer. Um, back to upgrading, please. <clears throat> we'll just start from this corner and work our way around. Yeah, not seen limestone in the mines themselves yet, but I have found walls that say mine required. So I'm thinking... <clears throat> When I finally get to the stage where I've got my own mine, it's going to expand the other mines. Right, that's all the upgrading we can do. Still need a shed load of freaking stuff. Is there anything else I can do to up my farming XP? Raven mentioned in her game at the minute, <clears throat> she um, has a second field that she doesn't allow the villagers to touch. Seems like a good idea, honestly. And we've left the room there, unless the health warts my plan. I just need XP all round. It's not just that. What should we do for a bit then? In fact, we're at time. Where did that go? I did nothing. I've done no We upgraded some walls. What else did I do? I introduced my son, built some walls, built a single roof tile. I've done nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well... I think it's that time again. Wrap the episode up and then go on a mad grinding spree. My bronze pickaxe has taken quite the beating, as you can see. Um, actually, before we get going towards the cave, which is right about... Excuse me. Um, you can actually see the entrance on the map. It's right there. I need to grab some food because my guy is going to get hungry. See, I don't turn any of that off. I still have to use... No, you've gone past the food one. Um, I still um, I still get hungry, just like you mortals. Plenty of fish meat, plenty of meat meat, water skins. I keep forgetting I've got a water skin on me, actually. Just give me half of this dried meat. Thanks. Yeah, I'm going to go farm across to the mine. That way, this mine's actually closer than the one up in the hills. And the one up in the hills respawns bears every season, it seems like. The mine over this way, the bear isn't actually close enough to where the entrance to the mine is. So if you didn't want to fight a bear every time, I'd, uh, I'd recommend coming across to this mine over here. In fact, before I actually wrap the episode up, I want to have a quick run through the forest and see if I can find that camp again. I think... The bandits can spawn at any of the sites that have got a camp in. It's just got to be night time. And being as though it's getting dark, I wonder, can we find a camp? Now, I've not got my recurve bow. 
which is going to suck if I come across them, because last time I just ran at the camp and then realised what was happening. I could probably snipe a few of them with the longbow, failing that they're getting an iron spiked cudgel to the face. I call her Lucille. Yeah, just, a, just a slight rip off there, I guess. Um, let's get the longbow back out. Where would the camp have been? I was literally running in a straight line back to, um, back to the village. It was a fairly open-ish area. Fairly flat. Wasn't too rocky. It's got to be around here somewhere. There was just a few tents. It was actually quite close to some clay. Which I could also come and mine, by the way. I don't need this for upgrades, though. I need limestone, so... Fox makes such a weird noise. I don't think I can find it. Vison over there. <clears throat> I think we'll avoid those. God knows where it is then. I literally ran back in a straight line. It's got to be more this way. Or failing that, maybe it just despawns at night. Oh, I don't know actually. This hill looks like where I fought them. It was just down there. Yes, because I had dead bodies littering all around here. That seem to have despawned, weirdly. They were actually set up right here. They've all gone. Is that what the pile of sticks is for? As though they're setting up a camp here again. I'd, just, I'd like to catch the bandits on camera, but I don't tend to record throughout the night because, you know, it's, it's dark. Anyway... Anyway, I've been rambling on enough now. We've not found the bandit camp, so like I say, I'm just going to go into this mine and go customise my game settings again. Go mine some stuff. See, you can see it from miles away. It took me ages to find it the first time, but now I can pick it out from the flipping satellites in the sky. Yeah, that's where we're going to wrap up for today's episode. So, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Hello. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more. All comments and feedback greatly appreciated, as always. Anymore. Really? This all came from the other barrel barrel. You owe me some loot. How have I ran out of there and not seen these barrels? By the way, I got the um, the, the pickaxe that I'm using now. The bronze pickaxe from this cave. So I'd recommend coming and finding it again if you want to see on the map. Literally, just imagine the top end of this river. And then it's that straight black cave above the road there. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.